I need a phonograph cylinder, okay. I'll find one of those! Oh, jeez, what? Oh, okay. A cat. Yikes. Hello, and welcome back to Mr. Ed Plays. I was gonna say Emily wants to play. No, not this time. This time it's Canarium. Uh, we are descending into what I can only imagine is the base. Whoa. It's the basement or or second level or something of this game. Okay, cool. But also, huh? But also sweet. But also what? Link elevator. Oh, Jesus. Hi. Hello. Uh-oh. Wait, come back. Sir? Sir? I know I tried to duck just now. I didn't mean to. Wait for me, please. He's gone. Of course he is. Where's my flashlight? Where's my torch? There it is. Okay. I was pressing the wrong button. Well, that was mysterious and spooky. Who is that guy? Surely he's just one of the people who works here, right? One of my coworkers? Corrosive, biohazard, toxic chemicals? This seems dangerous. I don't want to be here. This all seems very much out of my uh, league. Another handbook, huh? I, you can't open these books. Like, there's an A read button, but that's it. Oh, there's more here. Okay. Oh, yeah, Schneider Foundation. 48 to 49. See? I have no idea what year it is, dog. Is this a door? No, it's not. All right, so we're in here now. It's very cold. We got some samples of some I can only assume as mushrooms. We have uh, some, some this stuff. Beakers. What do you call them? Flasks. Got more samples. You gotta close these. This is uh, uh bad. This is, you're t turning the samples. <laughs> you're c contaminating them. Locked. Another flashlight. Another torch. Dude, I don't know what I'm supposed to look at first. Like, there's so much here to look at, but you can't really do much of anything with most of it. I need a phonograph cylinder. Okay, I'll find one of those. Oh, jeez, what? Oh, okay. A cat. Yikes. I thought there was a hand or like tentacly things coming at me. Kitty. Aw. He's cute. He's cute. Can I take him with me? No. Hey, get out of here. All right, cat, you stay there. I'm gonna, oh look. That's cool. You can see his, see his little shadow. His little cat shadow. What do we got here? There is a problem with, turn off the flashlight if it's gonna be that much of a problem then. Wait a second, there we go, turn it off. Okay, that's. Not much better. There's a problem with one of the freezers. I marked it. It must be checked immediately. Is it that one? That one there? Probably is. Probably is. New comp site was established. Waiting for new samples. Okay. Nope. What's this now? What's this now? Hey, the pyramids. This is Egypt. A burial, a digging site. This is Indiana Jones. And the Raiders of the Lost Ark. What's this now? Oh, you know what? I think I actually know what this is. I think I know what these pages are. Is this? I think this is from the Voynich Manuscript? Which is a very strange thing. If you don't know anything about it, look it up. It's very weird. It's like this book. And I'm sure it's one of those things that, like, there is an answer for. And people are going to be quick to point out. Oh, we know what that is. We figured it out. But it's always posited as one of those things. You know, those mysteries of the of the ancients or something. It's like a book that nobody can interpret or understand or what it's for or anything. Okay, so we got Antarctica on a map. Uh, we can see South America. We can see Australia. We can see Africa. I didn't realize how close South America was to Antarctica there. So you could almost almost touch it from that little hook. That's cool. Uh, and we, there's three points that are, like, circled. I don't know if those are, like, important. The letter T is circled. That's probably just a coincidence, though. All right, well, that was fun. I don't know what that means, but, hey, we got another journal. I found a note about the origin of the Canarium. Okay, let's read this. Dr. Faust has very tight-lipped about how he came up uh, with that strange exploration device he built long ago, I've decided that this is the voice of Frank. The only thing he has told me is that he came across some shunned and forbidden volumes about a device of extraterrestrial origin. But again, these sources do not hint that any existed on Earth, except in the dreams of those who liked to chew on a certain alkaloidal herb. Huh? What? 
Really? Are you saying that only certain people who chewed on a certain alkaloidal herb all had dreams about a strange device? And they wrote books about it, but then those books became shunned and forbidden? That's weird. The sessions we hold in the meeting room to adapt our nervous systems to the alien impulses of the machine were frightening at first. Yeah, why would you do that? So that's what that thing was. That was like it was like indoctrinating people to the alien impulses. That's probably not a good idea, guys. <laughs> I got to say, really I uh, dropped the ball on that one. If used too much, it affects the body to breaking point. That should be a sign, but now I'm used to its non-human sensations. I started to feel like the device is clearing my mind to make it absorb much more than ever before. No. I feel unconfined and much more receptive. No. But the most peculiar aspect of the sessions are that, because it is a shared experience, I am able to receive impressions, ideas, and even memories which belong to other participants. What? That's awesome. Usually my mind... It's terrible, but it's awesome, but it's terrible. Usually my mind wanders after the sessions end, and I cannot focus my thoughts until I have slept for several hours. That strange device surely disorients feelings and bodily functions, but I believe that what it offers is of immense importance. Well... Better th you than me, guy, I gotta say. This seems like a... That seems bad. All that seems bad. Oh! Is it a phonograph cylinder? Looks like it might just be... Mm, maybe not, though. It's hollow. What's this, then? I could take this one. Yes, it is a phonograph cylinder. Phonograph cylinder. Sorry. Sorry. Sorry, everybody. Whew, that was a close one. All right, what else? We got more samples. We got more books. More books that I can't do anything with. Let's put this in the uh, put this in the old uh, phonograph player. Let's give it an old listen. One of our researchers, C. Lenning, yeah, was found dead in the bio lab last Tuesday. No, who's my favorite character? Is currently uncertain. Mm -hmm. But judging by the accumulation of a mass of green substance found in his mouth and throat area. Ew. Dr. Barlow, uh -huh. our botany expert. Okay, Barlow's botany, got it. Smothered by small, sticky, greenish clumps that look like pollen, belonging to the living samples of the plant Sahiti, which is thought to have become extinct during the Paleozoic era. Sahiti, that was the... Dr. DeWitt will perform a post-mortem examination on his body soon. Okay. Um, so, wait a second. Was that... Journal has been updated. Uh, oh, here we go. Personal journal one and two. Oh, that's very annoying. Uh, phonographer... The Lemming. Unfortunately, yes. This was all of what we just heard there. I'm confused. This is seemingly related to the... the what, what, what was it related to? The journal that I found. Was it documents? Let's look at the documents. Yeah, here we go. When you the alkaloidal herb, I can only assume that it's uh, uh, the same thing. But was the phonograph cylinder before they started doing experiments? Is that how they found out about it? That seems like it should make sense, but I don't know much about anything. Hmm, what about this thing? What about this button? Where does the button go to then? Cat, will you? What are you doing over there? Okay, we got. Is this a power supply? Power generator? This is one that goes to the back. It goes around. It goes up here. What is this light? Well, that's not working. So maybe is that saying that the this thing doesn't work and you gotta do something to get it to work? Where does that go? Where does that go? Behind there? I don't think that is really helping me much, is it? Is this nothing? Am I on the wrong path here? Is this absolutely nothing? More lights. And then finally we got this one, which goes to, hey, what do you know? Nothing. <laughs> or it's the, this light picture. That's kind of working. Yeah, I'm not sure about this. This doesn't seem to be... Oh, here we go. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Never mind. <laughs> okay. By the way, I still have that, that crank. Can I use, by the way, my uh, inventory? Can I use these things? Right trigger to use. Oh, wait. This is Frank Gilman. No, I don't want to hold. Enemy. Skip. There we go. Uh, hold on. Let's try that again, but let's do it right. Here we go. Oh, I can't use it. I can use this. Oh, 
All right. Yeah, well, I don't know, you guys. I don't know. I don't seem to be able to do much of anything in here. I tried everything. I tried literally everything. Let's look back in this this thing. Yeah, let's go to the Glossopterus. Glossopterus. That's the ground, right? Is that the outside ground? What is that? Is that like... It should be cold in here, and it clearly isn't. So, like, this is... Like a greenhouse or something like it. But why? And, and... Is it just... There's a huge base going on outside. Okay, well, I don't know what this is for. Or why it's here. But I should close this so the tree doesn't die. What, are, what was that on the ground? There was something that says, Biology lab area. Is this where I... Is this where I was just now with the cat? Yeah, okay. All right, well, let's keep looking. Let's look, let's look at some other stuff. There's got to be more, more things to explore, right? This game wouldn't just give me one thing to explore. Surely. Well, oh, the vents. What is this, Among Us? You know, I've never played Among Us. Oh, here we go. This is something. Uh, let's, let's see what's on the back. Nothing. Let's see what's on the front. Read. X Temple? Flooded Caves? base oh it's those x markings it's like a map uh provisional camp equipment was deployed to the underground caverns below the base without any problem submarines also work great they're fast and maneuverable i don't know if that's how you spell maneuverable we'll say it is beyond my predictions we've started exploring some parts of the underwater passages but it is slow going okay so there's underwater caves that are flooded that's weird and they have a submarine that's apparently small enough to be able to fit in them. Or they're just tiny caves. It's also possible. Hey, look! On the floor! It's a bird, it's a plane, it's a pentagram. It's starfish. This is what we saw on one of those, uh, um, you know, corkboard things. And this is where the dude was. So let's go in inspect this way. I think I'm hearing some stuff and I don't like it. Alright, here we go. This, this is surely to reveal... All secrets. Just gonna look around, make sure there's nothing else to do. Is this a, uh, 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 what do you call it? What do you call it? Vending machine for soda. Clearly a button, you get a thing. Yeah, it is. Give it to me. Give me a Diet Coke. Give me, give me a Sprite. Give me a friggin' Mountain Dew. No? Fine. Kick. Where's the kick button? That's not it. Whatever. Alright, uh, Radix. Let's go through it. Let's find out what happened. Let's find out what happens in the next episode, guys. Thank you so much. I'm assuming my handle is going to go right in there. This, again, not a euphemism for anything. Stop having your minds go there. Uh, thanks for listening and watching. You kind of do have to do both. Most people just say watching, and they forget the listening. That's like half the battle. It might even be more than half, because if I were just playing this without me talking to you in the microphone here, then it would be bad. It would I would flag or something for, like, you're putting up the game. This commentary is part... It's, why it's can go, can do, can go, can do it. It's imp more important than the game, even. Because I can sit here and talk all day. I'm doing it now. I'm not even playing the game. I'm just talking to you. You don't even need to be looking at me. You can put this on a podcast while you're driving or something. You shouldn't be looking at your phone while you're driving. So audio is more important. So are things for hearing. And you're doing some light watching on the side. Is what I'm saying. You should be saying. What they should be saying. Us. All of us. YouTubers. Should be the thing. That's sad. But until the next time on Mr. Red, thanks for watching. Uh, and I hope you stay spooky out there, everybody. Goodbye.